welcome to the Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of March 31st, 2016. I'm Rainy Knutson, and our very special guest this week is Ms. Ryan Dennis from Project Row Houses. Hello, everyone. Thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me. This is fun. We're on the pink Cadillac. We're on the pink Cadillac, which we will speak about in a little while. But first, number five, I Love You Baby. These guys, We Made a Mistake is the title of the show. Boy, did they ever. These are, <laughs> this was a painting collective in Houston in the aughts. I would, I would think it's fair to say a booze-fueled painting collective that fell apart eventually, as, as booze-fueled painting collectives tend to do. Anyway, they got back together for a reunion. We don't know how long this is going to last. It's probably just this weekend. But there's three events, Cardoza Gallery, one night only until 2 a.m. on Saturday night. We don't know if it's going to be performance, if they're going to be recreating one of their painting extravaganzas, we suspect so. And then the G-Spot Gallery and Gallery Homeland both have uh, shows of their work, both new and old. I love you, baby. All we right. love you, baby. We, we Number four, Cedric Huckabee um, at the, the Valley, Valley House. House. In Dallas. Which you know a little bit about. Yeah, so Cedric Huckabee is a painter, autobiographical paintings, you know, figurative paintings of people he knows, his family members. He explores his personal narrative a lot in his work. And I had seen a lot of his paintings, a lot, some landscapes, some portraiture. And then I remember at the Dallas Art Fair a few years ago seeing this really, really stunning, like eight foot tall charcoal portrait mm. that he had I done. I saw those online. Yeah, yeah, and they're just stunning pieces. Valley House has been showing his work for a long time. And the exhibition is called Three Forbidden F Words. Faith, family, fathers. Which... Are they forbidden? Maybe for some. <laughs> for me. They're problematic. They're problematic. Number three is I've only known my own at Flexspace, formerly she, formerly she Works Flexible. Yeah, run by Lynn McCabe. Yeah. But now this exhibition, which is curated by Nicole Burish, the, first year core, the core yeah. critics and residents at the core program. I think it's gonna be a really good, what, three or four weeks of performances. It's all performance. All performance. She said it's starting empty and then it will accumulate detritus and leftover crap from the performances. Yeah. She wouldn't describe it as crap, probably. We'll just call it residual. This weekend is Ursula Johnson, who neither of us knew very much about, but who looks really cool. We were just doing a little research and um, looking at some of her basket weaving performances. performances. She's not doing basket weaving in Houston, though. She's doing site-specific leather tanning. Yeah, which is an homage to her family's history and um, kind of craft projects that have come from a leather factory in Dallas. Not sure which one that is. Oh, in Dallas? Yeah. Ah, so there's a Texas tie. There's a Texas tie. Because she's Canadian, I think. Yeah, she is. Yeah. So Ursula Johnson, leather tanning. Yeah. You know, if you went to summer camp and you made, like, pounded letters into belts and wallets and keychains for your family. You know all about it. You, then you know everything <laughs> that's there happening. There is to know, basically. <laughs> Autumn night's next week. Autumn night is next week. Number two, Karen Finley, the great Karen Finley, she is performing something called the Jackie Look at the Kessler Theater in Dallas. This was organized by Wordspace, and I've, I don't know what the Jackie Look is, but I saw Karen Finley when she was here a few years ago when Diverse Works brought her in and was just moved to tears. She is an mm. amazing performer. There's a reason she's so famous. She the, comes out of the feminist wave of The hardcore chocolate yams stuck up in orifices kind of yeah. If you're in Dallas and you've never seen Karen Finley perform, do not miss this opportunity to see her. I promise you, she's amazing. And number one, hanging in the 1959 pink Cadillac Coupe de Ville. The project was, uh, is with Oda Banga Jones and Associates, a Houston based artist collective. Um, of, of of a lot of renown. Of, a, a lot of renown. They're known. <laughs> known <laughs> here and beyond. Yeah, we've commissioned um, this project, which actually first started in Creative Time, um, a project that was done in Brooklyn um, called Black Radical Brooklyn Funk Jazz God and Medicine. So Creative Time commissioned four artists, Bradford Young, Simone Lee, Odabanga Jones and Associates, and Zenobia Bailey. Um, it was curated by Nato Thompson, Rashida Bumbre, and um, Riley Edergenoso at Weeksville. So and this thing is like a giant speaker slash seating area. Exactly. And you're going to be speaking in this seat. So we will be in this seat starting off on Friday 
at Project Row Houses. At Project Row Houses, 3409 Dowling Street, which and is right next to Doshi House. So you can get a coffee or a juice and then come and hang out on the Cadillac. I mean, that neighborhood's getting done right bougie. No. <laughs> <laughs> I take that back. No. We are broadcasting the history of the neighborhood, broadcasting sounds from, you know, the goodness of black folks and beyond. Um, and your talk is going to be about... Public art. Cool. Public art How and beyond. How do you feel about public art? In Houston? Well, I mean, I think part of this project is to think about public art as more experiential. You know, obviously this is an object that we're sitting on that has aesthetic value, but it's also about engaging people and collaborating with the participants of the radio show. So I'm embracing public art as something that is um, reciprocal, right? Yeah. Like there's a relationship between object, people, and place. Yes, um, very much in the tradition of Project Real Houses. Yeah, I want to see more of it at, in Third Ward and in our city. So Absolutely. I'm hoping people just embrace Absolutely. the expansion of public art. And so what's the topic for Project Row Houses for this round? Um, so the topic of this round, which opened on Saturday, March 26th, is um, art and activism. So I asked Raquel Deonda, who is an independent curator, to guest curate this round, um, Shattering the Concrete, artists, activists, and instigators, to look at you know, how artists are using their voices and their um, organizing practice to elevate the kind of issues that we are dealing with right now thinking about artists and equity etc and survival. then we have survival exactly um the way institutions use and abuse and or not um and then we have like mark strandquist and courtney bowles who has the people's paper call up literally working with um Texas Southern University lawyers and say Shape Community Center are res our residents on site at Project Row Houses to erase criminal records so that they can just be viable candidates for basic jobs and yeah. um, so it's a range from prison reform to equity to climate control it's a pretty incredible round if I don't say so myself so stay tuned stay That's tuned because if you stay tuned, then you always have to, like, check in. I don't want to give it all up right now. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. And Glass Tire? And Glass Tire. Oh, we're going to be in San Antonio for the first Friday. Okay. We'll be set up at the Blue Star Art Space um, in the Contemporary Art Month area. And we're going to be interviewing people and looking at art in San Antonio. And That's awesome. Yeah. So we're going to actually be in San Antonio on Friday. And then... Um, but then you'll come back to Houston next week and hang out at, in the Cadillac. Definitely. Boom. Definitely.